Yes, my wonderful people, welcome to J Progress Entertainment again. For all of the Gaza fans them out there. For all of the Portmore Empire fans them out there. For all of who has been supporting Vibes Cartel and who were in doubt people on day six of the re trial hearing. The tables have completely turned for Vibes Cartel and his three co accused. Based on what the judge is saying right now, it looks as if the prosecution has been defeated and Vibes Cartel and his three co accused could walk free from all the charges laid against them. Why do I say that? People, I will explain to you now why I say that and what day six of the retrial hearing has outlined and where the prosecution is now backed into a corner and where Vice Cartel and his co-accused and the whole defense team just have opened a prayer with a little smile under them, under them worrying, right? Let me get to it. All right now, my people. What happened now? The prosecution find themselves in a corner and because of such, they have expressed this to the judge that cartel and his co-accused should not be allowed to escape. The justice says they act in DPP. Why do he say that? He said that cartel and his co-accused should not escape the hands of the law because of technical blunder on the prosecution side. But guess what? A blunder on the prosecution side in a case like this can mean a tragic blow for the prosecution. Right? Okay. Let me jump into it now, my people. The prosecution urged the judge once again that technical blunder shouldn't cause Vice Cartel and his co-accused to walk away scotch-free and escape the hands of the law. Right? It is the interest of the public in Jamaica that those persons who are guilty of serious crimes should be brought to justice and should not escape it merely because of some technical blunder. That's where the prosecution realized that they have gone wrong now and realized that the judge has taken all of this into consideration. So they are reminding the judge and arguing that judge... We understand that so we had a technical blunder and we messed up in the first trial. But don't let Vice Cartel and his co-accused walk free because of this. Right. The blunder argued Acting Director of Public Prosecution, Claudette Thompson. She said there are remedies to address constitutional breaches regarding delay in the case. So, they have, they have admitted that they have breached Vice Cartel and his co-accused constitutional right. And the judge has picked up on this and hasn't taken this lightly. Right? Okay. The court have, has been, have been and should loath to dismiss a matter due to pre-trial. Public, publicity as the criminal justice system has win its sufficient safeguards to mitigate against risk of prejudice, the prosecution said. So this is the part now, my people, where what I've just read there, the prosecution is saying, given that this case is so publicized and a lot of people have taken their stance on which side they are on, whether Vice Cartel and his co-accused are the prosecution side. So in simple terms, should Vice Cartel stay in prison him and his co-accused and spend the rest of them days there? Or, because of the technical blunder and the breach of constitutional right, Vice Cartel and his co-accused should walk free. Right? So this is what the, prose the prosecution is arguing about. Thompson said there are sufficient safeguards, right, to make sure, say, any jury that they have, that they have built up, anybody who are going to sit on the jury, they can ensure that they are safeguard that there will be no prejudice. So them now go, them now go say certain thing against Vice Cartel or rule against Vice Cartel because of who he is or the popularity of the case which, which garners so much attention and so much mixed reaction. Right? To ensure the men get a fair hearing by an independent and impartial jury. That's what I was on about. Right? They have gone ahead now and said, listen, we can do this. 
we can find a panel of jurors who are not biased and who are not prejudiced towards the accused, we are sure that we can safeguard against that. You have done it before without even all of these attention. So this is the concern of the judge. Moving on now. But in, in, in corresponding to that and in defense to that, the defense team, which comprises of Vice Cartel Lawyer, Sean Storm Lawyer, and the others, right, say that. The court must free their accused, right, because of rights breach. That's how the defense a make argument pan. The defense in Vice Cartel hearing say the best remedy to address the breaches of the constitutional right is to acquit the men of the charge of dirtings. Attorney for Vice Cartel made the assertion today in a reply to the prosecution. Okay. The court now of appeal has expressed serious concern. This and the judge them now, you know. The judge them have make for them say you now in the case after hearing deliberation from the prosecution and from the defense team. Now is the judge them time for talk and say where everything where them pick out of the case with Vice Cartel. I may tell you no, this look like brighter days from Vice Cartel and his co accused them case. The prosecution is backed into a corner based on what I am going to say here. What the judge them come up with. The Court of Appeal has expressed serious concern about the prosecution's push for a dirtings trial in the Vice Cartel case, while two dirtings related cases sent back for retrial. One in 2022 and the other in 2023 are yet to get trial dates. So the judge just say, hang on a minute. Vice Cartel and his co-accused is no special than anybody else in my court house. They are just merely citizens of Jamaica. I don't care who is a popular entertainer, who is popular or what. When they come into my court house, they are just citizens of Jamaica. They have no values to them. Other than a citizen of Jamaica who should be treated like anybody else. So he said, why is it that I should give you guys a retrial for Vice Cartel and his co-accused when you have two cases that was sent back for retrial? One in 22, 2022 and one in 2023 and they are yet to get a retrial date. And Uno say Vice Cartel could get a date as early as next year, 2025. Within February, between February and April. So what happened to these two people, two cases then? They don't have family. They don't have a right to a fair trial. And a timely retrial. What's wrong with this case? Why do you guys treat Vice Cartel and his co-accused case more special and more critical than any other case in Jamaica? The judge is making them know that it is not so in their courthouse. Simple as that. Wagwan now. The judge said it has been bothering me. I am very concerned, said lead judge Justice Marva McDonald Bishop. She said it appears the prosecution was more interested in pursuing the case involving Cartel and his three co accused who are charged with the 2020 11 dirtings of Clive Lizard Williams. But why? When we have other people who them case sent back. To the Supreme Court for retrial and they still haven't gotten a date. Some people have been waiting almost two years now. Why do you pose more interest in Vice Cartel and his co-accused case? What is the problem with you guys and Vice Cartel? Right? The judge asks, what is it so significant about lizard dirtings that is not present in the case involving former policeman? Russian Hamilton, who is accused of the dirtings of a 14-year-old pregnant girl. You know what I'm talking about? What is the problem? And the judge, that's why I'm telling you that judge can't do her work, you know. That judge can't do her work, she's not picking no side. Okay. His, his case was sent back in 2003, but still they have no trial date yet. Acting Director of Public Prosecution, right? No, the judge know that the other case involved Trevor Taff, right? Who is awaiting retrial for the alleged beheading of his common last spouse. 
acting director of public prosecution Claudette Thompson told the court that the prosecution is not focused on the victims of the of the crime but the circumstances of the crown really that is a poor defense in your terms prosecution she said there is no premium being placed on cartel's case the senior prosecutors told the court that the state is simply ready to go ahead with the case if a retrial is ordered she said the crown is ready for the matter to proceed as early as September 2024. Although she know that the Supreme Court could ac accommodate it in early 2025. Thompson also said witnesses are ready. Wagwan, you know, the prosecution said them have them witness them ready right now and everything. So people, this is day six of the retrial hearing for Vice Cartel and his co-accused. Like, like I have always said, guys, I am reporting on the matter. I am not picking any side, but I have to look in the case as to where it leads and where the judge is looking and everybody else. So my people, until then, stay tuned and make me see why else I go unravel in a vice cartel and his co-accused retrial hearing. Everybody again, thank you guys for the love and support. 32.5 thousand YouTube subscribers. I appreciate it guys and remember we are on the road to 35k that's the mission for the ending of June and we know we can do it guys stay tuned and I will keep you guys updated believe <music>